The Optimus G has finally made its way to Australia. It is LG's premium flagship device which offers a lot of new features from hardware to software. What's up guys, it's Garcia here and this is my review of the LG Optimus G. We'll be cutting this into different parts, so we're going to be talking about the design and hardware, the software, and finally the conclusion. The phone has very nice and premium design. At the front is a 1.3 megapixel camera, LED notification light, cold speaker grill, sensors, and three capacitive buttons. Around the device is a power button, volume rocker, micro SIM tray, 3.5mm headphone jack, microphone, micro USB port, two screws if you want to open the device, and another microphone. And over the back is a 13 megapixel rear camera with LED flash and a speaker. The Optimus G feels very solid and lightweight. It is made out of plastic with a metallic lining around the edges and a glass back with polarized effect and embedded LG logo. There's a possibility that it will crack the back when I drop the device. But other than that, I do love the build quality of the phone. The 4.7 inch IPS through HD display is gorgeous. It has a resolution of 1280 by 768 and a pixel density of 318 PPI. Viewing angle is great. And what you gotta love about the IPS display is that very natural look, text, photos, and videos look very sharp and vivid. It is also claimed that it uses 70% less power, giving the device a longer battery life. I tested it outdoor and I was actually quite impressed with its high visibility under bright sunlight. Thanks to the zero gap technology for making this possible and to me this is a big deal. In addition to that, it also makes the device more responsive as it removes the air between the glass and the touch technology. Speaking of battery life, the Optimus G is powered by 2100 mAh capacitive battery. I actually did get close to around 9 hours of heavy use and with standby and light use, I did get just over a day. For that amount of battery, in my opinion, it's quite good. But what I miss the most is the huge 3100 mAh of battery on the Galaxy Note 2. Both front and rear cameras offer some decent photos, however, in my opinion, it needs more contrast and saturation to provide a much better quality. Now here are some of the sample photos and videos that I took with the phone. What makes this a super phone is the processor. It is running quad-core 1.5 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro processor along with 2GB of RAM, making this a speedy device. I haven't noticed any lag since when I first used this phone and everything seems to be running quite smooth from multitasking to gaming. The device is running Android 4.1 Jellybean with LG's Ultimate UX on top, giving you a battery smooth experience from transitions to switching between apps. Unlocking the phone gives you a whole new experience. As you slide your finger, the home screen zooms in. Q-slide function is a handy multitasking feature. It lets you open up to five different apps at the same time. In addition to that, you can also lower down the opacity so you can see what is happening behind the application. We have seen a lot of different note-taking apps. LG's Quick Memo is a different story, however. Just like your normal note-taking apps, it does the same task, but what's different is the ability to overlay the screen for you to be able to do other tasks while you still have the notes on the screen. Enabling the time catch shot camera feature captures the best photo among the five shots that was taken before the shutter button is pressed. Those are just some of the new features on the Optimus G. Dual screen and dual play are also added as well as live zooming, screen zooming, cheese shutter, and smart shutter. Overall, the Optimus G is a powerful device. It has some great specs like the quad-core processor and the 2GB of RAM. This is also a great multimedia device, and for what this phone offers, it really does meet today's standards. So there you have it guys, that is my review of the LG Optimus G. And if you like this video, please do subscribe and don't forget to like this video. I'm Jens Garcia and I'll see you all in the next one.